think. There she is. Hey, hey, Tina, what's going on, Jess? How is she? Are you the family? Yeah, I'm a brother. We've, uh, we've been away. We came as soon as we could, Doctor. I'm afraid your sister has suffered carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh, God. Fizz had the boiler fixed last week. That could be it. Is she going to be all right? We've given her treatment in a hyperbaric chamber which provides oxygen under pressure, and this um, re-oxygenates the brain to hopefully prevent any possible neurological damage. Hopefully. We've put her in an induced coma for now, but there is a significant risk that she could have suffered permanent brain damage. And we won't know until we wake her up. Oh, no. You not say any more? I know this is very difficult, but she was very lucky to be found when she was. Can I sit with her? Yes, yes, of course you can. Hey, thank God for you. Well, have you got me? I'm exhausted. Yeah, OK. Can't thank you enough, you know, Tina. See you. See you. I think I've finished it. Good. I know she's a right little trooper. Hiya. Here she is. Hiya, Tina. Can I get you something? Uh, no, no time. I want better be going. Yeah. Hang on, are you not waiting for us? No, we're going to uh, pick her up at the factory. Come on. Good luck. Yay, yeah, bring us back another picture. We will. So which one's mine? Oh, the Tina would like to help. Oh, yes. Yeah, but she's like now, what, third of the way through? Yeah, well, I think it's a bit touching girl, isn't it? Mind you, she seems to settle into it. Hmm? So she wants to go through with it. Are you talking about me? No. Why? Should we be? <sighs> Usually are when you're whispering. Yeah, well, if we were, we'd only be saying good things. You know that her teachers all agree she's doing really well. She's finished a project on time. More than mine ever said, how about me? Well done, love. We're very proud of you. You know, if we carry on like this, me and you are going to have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'll be your first. <laughs> Cheers. So, what were you called? No, eh? Mind-blowing, really. It's definitely better than the last photo. Yeah, well, baby's grown since then. <laughs> yeah, but even so, it was just a blob. It was a beautiful, gorgeous blob, mind. Not like it. Do you know what? I'm definitely seeing more girl than boy. Really? Yeah. Oh, please. Just ignore him, Gary. He's full of hot air. You're looking at the father of two girls here. Trust me. <laughs> I've got experience in these kind of things. Yeah, well, boy, girl, it's all good as far as I'm concerned. Hey, it's better than good. It's the most beautiful, wonderful thing in the world. So I take it we can uh, put you top of the list for babysitting duties? Uh, there'd be hell to play if you don't. Oh. On the subject of babysitting duties, me and your mum wouldn't mind popping to the Rovers. Oh, when? No, it's fine, it's fine, cos it is out anyway. A smashing. Are you sure you don't mind? Of course not. Hey? Cool. But we're not talking babies. Ooh, fair enough. Hey, just think, hey, isn't it exciting? You're going to be a man, eh? <laughs> Grown up. Hey, hey, Brian. Our face, she's loved doing the project. We can't keep her off the computer, can we? <laughs> really? Yeah, I've never seen her so focus. <laughs> so you've, uh, not seen the note? What note? Uh, you know what, uh, this isn't the time of the place, sir. Uh, why don't we discuss it in school on Monday? No, why don't we discuss it now? Uh, the school sent a note yesterday. Apparently your daughter is the only member of her class who hasn't completed her project. <clears throat> no, that isn't right. I'm only rating what a teacher told me. Oh, oh, you wait till I speak to her. Hiya. What are you doing here? Uh, Olivia. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd be at the cafe. Yeah, well, Faye's got a tummy bug. She's in bed. Oh, poor thing. And me, I've got a rumbling tummy. Well, you know where the kitchen is. OK. Can I get anything, look? Yeah, will you get me some cheese and toast? And will you get some for Faye as well? I thought you had a tummy bug. Well, she might be feeling better now. There are only three slices, love. Well, you know where the shop is. I've only got 20 minutes. If she's that hungry, she can come down herself. Do you know, I knew something was going on. What? She sneaked out of the house. She's left a note. Oh. How long have you known? All right. Yeah, see ya. Gone for a walk back for tea, but why isn't she answering her phone? <sighs> she must have gone out while I was bringing in the washing. She's been gone for nearly two hours. You've never gone where? Well, I don't know where. Do it because I've rang all the mates and the mums. No one's seen her. Well, maybe she started getting bullied again. I've seen a lad, I don't know, but whatever it is, she's gone off for a reason, love. Oh, God, I don't like the look of this. What? She's been chatting to someone online. 
They've been talking about swapping telephone numbers and meeting up. Yeah, but isn't it one of her friends? Can't wait to meet you for real. How about Monday? Today? His name's Tim. What? His name's Tim and he works on a building site. He's got a job. They're talking about bunking off and arranging to meet up. I've got a job. How old is this lad? He's not a lad, Owen. He's a man. To a man she doesn't know. Oh, still no reply. We've got to go to the police, love. She's with a strange bloke off the internet. She could be getting herself into all kinds of trouble. I can't just stand there doing nothing. How did this happen? It happened because we let her have a computer. Where the hell have you been? Thank come here! Come here! Where have you been? We know what's going on. We've been through your computer. You've been in my computer? Yeah, we have on with good reason. We were worried. Look, I know it's not your fault, love, but you have to tell us what's happened. We know about Tim. You know? Yeah, is that who you've been to see? Yeah. And what happened? Did anything happen? We just had a hot chocolate and talks. And then he came straight home? Yeah. OK. Well, you have to promise me you never, ever see this man again. No, I won't! Faye! We have to go to the police about this! Why? Because what he's doing is very, very wrong. Look, we're just trying to protect you, all right? We just want to keep you safe. He said you'd be jealous. Jealous? I'm not jealous, love. I'm furious. I'm all for tracking this fella Tim down and stringing him up from the nearest lamppost. You touched my dad and I reported you to the police. Your dad? Yeah. Tim's your real dad. You can't with her. I know, love, but the social work will be here soon. She'll know what to do, yeah? Do you know what? I'm... I hate Tim Metcalf. They said they held hands all the way to and from the cafe. Should have kept pretending to crunch her knuckles. Honestly, she was laughing so hard. She was high as a kite. And how come he wants to play daddy now? Where's he been for the last eight years? Oh, I don't know, but I'm sure he'll come up with some old tripe. We'll let the social workers tell him to sling his hook. He's dodged his responsibilities for a decade. He can't just appear out of nowhere and mess with her head like this. Well, he has, love. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, you've done the right thing, love. Yeah. Let the authorities get rid of him. Read him the right act. <laughs> Oh, oh right. trying not to. Oh. But fighting a losing battle. Right, it's a bit complicated, I'm afraid, but the bottom line is Tim Metcalf has no legal or parental rights over Faye whatsoever. Oh. All right, well, that's not simple enough. Now, Faye has made contact with Tim and she's obviously keen for it to continue. Oh, keen? We can't keep her away from him, no. can we? Well, no. It's about managing the situation and, of course, keeping Faye protected. Well, can't we just ban her from seeing a full stop? The best way forward is a risk assessment. I'll make contact with Mr Metcalf and we'll take it from there. Right, so, so we're powerless, basically. Well, we'll check him out fully and establish everything we need to know. Faye's welfare is paramount. Yeah, well... I'm sure Joanne knows what she's talking about. We've got to trust the system, love. We'll give you all the support you need. And Mum was right, it's way more than a job... What do you mean she's not turned up? You... No, 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 you said you, you, said you keep an eye on her. I, I've, I've got to go, I've got to go. What now? It's Faye, she hasn't turned up for netball. Brian's only just found out. Well, she's probably down a chibi with her mates. Well, yeah, well, no, it, but that's him. Hey, what if she's run off to meet him? Or, what worse, what if he snatched her? Yeah. It's her. <sighs> Don't pick me up. I've gone to see me dad. I'll be back for me tea. I'm going to knock his block off. Oh, yeah, but that'd be great because I'd be even more of a hero then, won't it? <sighs> what am I going to do with her? Could have kept me streaming for a bit longer. Real dad. Look, he's playing right into our hands. The social services are about to do a risk assessment of him and he's sneaking off with a ten-year-old girl right behind her mother's back. So what do we do meanwhile sit here like lemons? You know, they could be halfway to France by now. It's her. Faye, what the...? Uh, Tim. Yeah, where are you? No, she promised me she was going to netball. Oh. All right. Well, that's very good of you. How long? Right. Half an hour, then. He's bringing her back. What? And that's good of him? Well, I want to make sure he doesn't. If that means keeping on the right side, then... You haven't thought this through. Lost. Oh, I know. I should have got his address. I should have said we'd pick her up. Ring you out. No, hang on. We're going to stuff the social services. We should be ringing the police. No. There you are. 
have been out of my mind. This is Theta Metcalf. Where have you been? I said you'd worry. Worry? You know there's a name for blokes like you. Yeah, Dad. So I can't do anything. <clears throat> Don't get comfy, lad. You can understand why we're all so worried. We've all heard the horror stories about kids being targeted on the internet. She found me. Well, she shouldn't have been looking. No, it's human nature. I'm glad she did. I tried to find her for years, but it's hard when you don't even have a surname to go on. They do that for a reason. Look, I didn't leave a mum of my own accord. It's, it's hard living with a smacker. I was driven out and I've regretted it ever since. My mother never forgave me. Grandma Tess. I was the first grandchild. She died of a broken heart. And she left me this. It's a Metcalf family heirloom. You don't let the grass grow. <laughs> Do you see? I know you're in Sometimes I wish I'd never even hooked up with Jenny in the first place, but if I hadn't done, then Faye would never have existed. I was immature. I should have just taken her with me and left Jenny at a festival, but it, it didn't seem right, a bloke on his own bringing up a girl. But I'm a different person now. I drifted, I admit. I don't look much on paper, but I've got my act together. I've got a little flat, regular work. You know, when she got in touch online, when I saw a picture for the first time, it stirred things up about her and my mum. Made me want to put things right. You've got two daughters. Face told me you must know how hard it is to stay away. Talking to the wrong bloke, mate. You know, when she was going to sleep, she had two dummies. <laughs> One for sucking and the other for stroking her nose. That's why it turns up at the end, look. And she was crazy for Edie McCready. From Balamore. I'm sorry if I had dogs. If she saw one in the park, she'd cling on at me so hard I could feel her heart beating against my chest. Yeah, it's a long time ago now. I'm not trying to take her away from you. Good for you. I just want to fill in the blanks. Uh, no, no, do you know what? This has gone far enough. Up to your room. Mum, some things are not appropriate for you to hear. Your mum's right. Go on, up you go. Don't leave that saying goodnight. I won't, I promise. We need to speak to the no reason. As far as I'm concerned, nothing's changed. You know, you're young, you can have other children. You can give them all the love you say you feel for Faye, but I'm a mother. Well, think about it. I've been reasonable. No. You should think about it. Social services are planning to assess you. You, know, you can wave bye-bye to all your privacy once them lot get the claws into you. Faye said that you're a nice guy. Is there anything else you've not told her? Convictions, admissions, addictions. It'll come out, you know. Fine. Do you know what? I shouldn't have let you in here tonight. It won't be happening again. Well, at least let me say goodbye. <laughs> You'll regret this. Is that a threat? No, it's a fact. She'll never forgive you. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's something else that I'll have to live with, innit? Like all the other heirlooms that you and your Jenny have left behind. Dad! Dad! I never said goodnight. I know. And then I realised... She won't come out of the room. Well, she get hungry, love? She's lost her voice from yelling at me. She wants to change her name to Metcalf. Well, it was never Metcalf in the first place. That druggy Jenny's name was Butler. Don't you go doubting yourself, love. I can't win. I ban her from seeing him and she hates me. Let the relationship grow, let them start to meet up and... She loves him more. Who am I trying to protect, eh? Her or me. Yeah, they've told all the teachers and the dinner staff. I think you'll keep away. Based on what? No, based on nothing, you know, just a hunch. What? What did you say to him? When? When you followed him out. Did you threaten him? I had a quiet word, that's all. How quiet? Well, put it this way, I think he got the message. Did you hurt him? I ruffled his feathers, that's all. Good. And then she said, he sacked his mother. Uh, Faye, are you going to say goodbye? He's coming back in here. Will you stop it with that attitude, please? She's got a cob on, cos I won't let her use the internet. Bye. OK? You just watch it, you. Why? What are you going to do about it? 
Oh, Faye, please. I'm going to the cabin for some fun. Uh, no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not, because you'll be straight down that building site looking for him and I won't have it. You can sit down there and you can watch telly until your tea's ready. Go on. I'm usually really... Are you all right, girls? No, she won't eat her tea. Uh -uh. Well, she can go to bed hungry then, can't she? You can't lock me in. Oh, yes, we can. We can do whatever we want. Why? Because you're grown-ups. You think that means she got Right, go to your room and if you want any supper later, you can just forget about it. I want to see my dad. <sighs> you won't ban me from going on the internet. I'll go into the shop for some flumps. He's my real family, not you. I need to share the relevant information with you. Is he a bad un? Usually we'd be able to tell you which town he lived in, job, home situation. But I know you're aware of all this from Facebook, so... Well, only what you've told Faye. Which would appear to be the truth. We've spoken with the police and probation service. It seems he's certainly got his life back on track now. There are no safeguarding concerns as to why Faye shouldn't have contact with him. Uh, excuse me? What she's saying is we have to let her see him. It's completely up to you, but he's an important part of a life story. With appropriate management, I'd say yes. This could be a positive thing. Hi, come in. Tyrone's just on the floor. I know you've got something to do with it! All right, Kirsty love, now calm down, yeah? Don't love me. This is my flat and I'll love who I like. Are Tyrone and Ruby here? Yeah, yeah, they're hiding under the dishcloth next to the sink. No, they're not. You know where they are, though. I don't! I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You, you can't shower a woman like this in her condition. <laughs> she did more than shout at me when I was pregnant. Oh, she I not barely it touched her. Look, Kirsty, love you. Didn't your dad come and take Ruby once? It wouldn't be him. Look, come back to my place and we'll wait for the police there. Come on. I'm not finished yet. Are you OK, love? Is she saying that Tyrone snatched Ruby? Yeah, that's what she's saying. Good for him. Right! Oh. Hiya, Sylvia. Oh. I'm sorry we're a bit late. Oh. <laughs> I must have dropped off. How's everything been? Oh, fine. Yeah. And Faye? No trouble at all, good as gold. Well, that's the first. You sure you weren't dreaming? Uh, you. For your information, I've always had a way with children. It's about creating boundaries, showing them who's boss. You're back then. Are you in your bed? Well, I was, but you woke me up. We hear you've been on your best behaviour. Me and Auntie Sylvia make a good mm. team. Yeah, she's a credit to you. Oh, she's a credit to herself. So, um, any word about the baby? Oh, no, nothing as yet, I'm afraid. It's really horrible. I'm almost scared to leave the house. Oh, come here, you. Come here. You don't have to worry about anything like that, because I will look after you. Rain. You know, if it was later in the week, maybe, I could ask Rye, but... Well, I am open for an early dark, but I have to check on Katie at some point. She's really worried about Fizz and Hope, you know. Right, yeah, of course. Well, maybe I could ask Rye. Darling, if this is about me, I am capable of getting myself to and from school, you know. Yeah, well, we're just trying to keep you safe, that's all. Trying to keep you safe? I was good as gold for Sylvia, weren't I? And it's not like I can go wandering off to find my dad, cos I don't even know where he lives. And thanks to you locking all my stuff up. You do understand why your mum's done that, don't you? It's for your own protection. Yeah, but if I can't walk out my mates, I'm going to be dead isolated. I'm missing out on all the goss. You know what? I can see that. Look, I don't know. We'll have to have a think about it, that's all. OK. Are you going to work... Hey, do you two have to read at the breakfast table? Aye. It's educational, isn't it, Faye? Faye? What? Owen's talking to you. All oh, right, cos when Owen talks, everyone has to listen. Look, love, I know you're angry with me. I heard my dad say you threatened him. Oh, Faye, don't try and make things sound worse than they already are. Well, he did, didn't he? Love, I was worried about you. Yeah, we both were. We still are. And maybe I was a bit... Yeah, a bit full on with him. You mean my dad? You know, he might be a biological father, but you don't know him. And we don't know him. No. I don't get the chance now, will I? Thanks to you. You two are always going on about how bad bullying is. How is this different? Because Faye... <sighs> Love, we just want to do what's best for you, that's all. And yeah, I, I might be a bit heavy-handed at times, but... It's only because I care about you. You do know that, don't you, love? I'm going to school. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to take you. Don't bother. 
I was talking to Gary before at Cafe. Yeah, you mentioned it. Look, I regret saying what I did to Tim, but I'm just so frightened for Faye. Yeah, but I'm just wondering, what is it that we're trying to achieve here? We are trying to protect Faye from some new mark who just popped up from out of nowhere. We'll probably disappear in exactly the same way. Yeah, but she doesn't see it like that. What she sees is me and you keeping her from a real dad. Oh, come on, love. She's a kid. And a smart one. That performance this morning was because she hasn't got her own way. Trust me, in a month's time, she'll have gotten all about him. Yeah, and what if she doesn't? It's like some type of fairy tale with me as the wicked stepmother. You're not a stepmother. You're a mother. Oh, but I'm still wicked, is that it? Do you know what? I think you might be overthinking this just a little bit. I'm going to have a cup of tea, if that's OK with you. Yes, of course. Let me know if you can't cope. I can see how busy you are. Just ignore us. We're out mad this morning. Mind you, might have a point. And, you know, with all the worrying with Faye, I've been out of drawing, haven't you? No, no. Tell him what. You go and pick her up from school, and I'll cook us all tea. If she wants to talk about this, we can do it in a civilised way, round the table as a family. Thanks, Owen. I don't know what... Oh, Faye, I wish you'd talk to me properly. <sighs> Look, love, I know you think me and your mum are standing between you and Tim. My dad. You can call him that, you know, cos that's what he is. Fine. Fine, your dad. But can you not just see how worried your mum is, eh? Pulling all these stunts, running off, scaring her half to death. I want to get to know him. He's dead nice. If you just give him a chance... Faye, you know very well it's more complicated than that. You see, Tim and your birth mother had their chance when you were born, love, OK? And that is why you went into care. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, love. Hang on a minute. All right, if she wants to talk properly or grown up like, then she needs to hear the truth. He's dead sorry about all that. He's told me. Oh, yeah, I bet he is, his version of it. He's yeah. not like that. He didn't have a choice. Just like I don't have a choice to see him. It's so unfair. <sighs> You're not my dad, and you can't stop me speaking to him. No, Faye, we've talked about this. Just hang that phone up now. Give it me. No, what? You heard you no, know. what? Tim could be saying oh, anything. He could be saying anything. See you, mind. I'm telling you all no, sorts of stuff. Right, we said you weren't allowed to get back in touch with him, so I'm sorry, I'm taking your phone up. You can't do that. Yes, I can. So just calm yourself down. Even if you have got the phone, you can't stop me from speaking to him. Give it here. No, no, no. Right, stop it here. No, stop it. That's my whole life, and you just smashed it! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you think you're playing at? Oh, Tim could have been contacting you around it, that's all. Oh, right, great, so you just break it. Oh, I think that's called the Owen method, yeah. innit? Well, I think she's too young to be using the internet anyway, love. Yeah, well, I think that she's too young to be grappling with a middle-aged man I... twice her height and weight. Love, I just wanted to... Oh, shut up! Shut up, Owen! So much for regretting going heavy-handed with Tim, whatever he's... Flaming call. I now you've only made things ten times worse. You shouldn't have been coming. No, out. no, shut up. I've had enough. I can't think straight. I want you to go. What? Just go. I can't think. I need some time on me own. I want you to go. Get out! Just go! Okay. Two words. Well, I didn't exactly the same. What? Smash your computer? Yeah, that's how this whole thing started. What, and you think that's how it'll end it? No, I never said that. Do you seriously think that it's going to make her any less likely to want to see a real dad? Love, I said I was wrong. What else can I do? Hey, come on, let's not let this guy get to you. Yeah? It's too late for that. He's involved in a life and we have to deal with it. No, we don't. He's banging on the door, so we work away how to slam it in his face. It's always violence for you, isn't it? Love, I don't mean literally, but I'm telling you, it's the only way. No, it's your way. Oh, yeah, and what's yours? Invite him round for his tea. I'm being pulled apart here. Whatever I do is wrong, and you're not helping. If you let him into Faye's life, it'll be the thin end of the wedge. Things will only get worse. Yeah, well, they're not that great right now. OK. We got toast. He gave away any right to a say on Faye's welfare when he walked out years ago. Yeah, well, maybe they found out about your performance yesterday and started to think he's a better parent than us. Do you see now that threats and violence are not the answer? I bet he spends a lifetime of benefits finding a way to beat the system. Yeah, well, the way I see it, the more we fight against him, the more we lose. You can't allow him to see fail off. I may not have a choice. You give him an inch, you lose her. I'm, I'm losing her now. You saw what she was like this morning. She's refusing to talk to us. It doesn't matter if we chain her to a radiator and lock her in a room. She's still going to want to see him more than ever. I can't win. The way I see it, she loves him and she hates us. All I can see is her leaving us and going to him. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Now listen to me. Faye loves you. Anyone can see that. But maybe you're right, you know. Maybe the problem is me, not him. I know how much you care about Faye. 
I care so much I forget she's adopted, but I gotta be more careful. I gotta think before I lose it. I'm sorry, love. You're fighting me and Tim. I promise you from now on I will support you, I will trust you, and I will be there for you. You are a great mom. <laughs> Well, can you get on for a family tea tonight? Yeah, yeah, once I've installed this shower fitting, I'll come straight back. OK, and we'll sit down and talk to her together. Yeah, with a bit of luck, she'll talk back at us. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Oh. Right, come on. Cheese on top. Mm, please. No, I'll do it. Yeah. So, Tim, have you lived around here long? Actually, he's been working down south for the past few years. Haven't you? Yeah. On the boats in Plymouth. Portsmouth. Oh, yeah, Portsmouth. <laughs> That's nice. Only me! <sighs> Fastest bathroom fitter in Weatherfield. <sighs> What's he doing here? I left a message on your phone. All right, no, uh, Gary dropped me mobile and the concrete mixer. Oh, uh, well, um. We were just talking, weren't we? Yeah, I can see that. I thought we were going to talk about this tonight, love. Well, I thought that you'd get your message. Maybe I should go, eh? No, don't go. No, no, let him go, love. I don't want him to go. Yeah, what we don't know is get where we want, do we? I thought you said you'd support me. Oh, I know. Well, love, once we've uh, had a chance to talk about this on our own... What? After you've bullied everyone into doing what you want? No. No, love, I'm not a bully, and I don't tell tales I am. Simply trying to keep this family together. Whose family? Not yours. No, our family. Your real family. And you are not part of this family, mate, so why don't you do us a favour and get out of this house before I do something that I'm going to regret? Actually, Owen, I think it might be better if you left. You what? I want you to go. You're not helping things. In fact, you're making them worse. You don't mean that, love. I do. I need you to go now. Please. Back in half an hour. Why are you fighting him? He's here to talk, not shout and fight. Me, Anna and Faye were sorting this. Can't you see the damage you're doing? Faye's just a but child. You know what? Just you... go away. Go away, Owen, and come back when you've had a chance to cool off and be like a civilised human being. Is it like this every tea time? Calm down. Yeah. I'm sorry I flew off the handle earlier. Good. I'm very protective of Faye. So am I. I won. Can we play again? I've got to go. We'll play again next time. Right, I'll see you next Monday tea time, mate. Eh? Bye, love. Bye, Dad. <sighs> see ya. See ya. Monday? Did he say Monday? Yeah, I've decided to let him see Faye once a week. OK. If that's what you want to do, love. So, who's Alec? OK, this is nice, isn't it? No stress, no arguments, just peace and harmony for a change. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Hi, Dad. You're still early, and I thought we agreed we'd meet at the house. We did. I'm meeting someone else. Anna, see you when you're ready, love. Make that too. Jess and Grimshaw. That's right. You must be Tim. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. I sent Dad Jason's number. So, you're looking for a job? Yeah. What's up with you? Nothing, I. Like a running egg to dip me soldiers in, that's all. The SES couldn't break in there. All right. Well, in future, the eggs are in the fridge, the saucepan's in the cupboard, and the water's in the flaming tap. Well, you are. Stuck in my mouth shut next time, shall I? Yeah, can you have that in writing? Look, I'm sorry, OK? I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have what? Shouldn't have what? Slagged off me cooking? Because that can live with it's an occupational hazard. But bawling at little girl, 
you know, smashing up a computer, that's a sight harder to forgive. Yeah, and it won't happen again. No, well, it can't, Owen, because one way or another, there's going to be no more of that in this house. I was frustrated, love. It's only because I care. I know you do. But with A's history, you've got to keep a lid on that temper. If you can't... I understand, love. I hope so. Cos... Lord knows I need it more than ever now. You still all right for minding her today? Of course. But if I can start late, I'm going to have to work over. So don't worry about me too, right? Well, after this morning's performance, I wasn't going <laughs> to... Morning, love. You OK? Hey, morning, sweetheart. What do you want for your breakfast? Um, just some toast. Are you annoying all right? How do you mean? I heard you arguing again. Are you going to split up? I'll be daft. We weren't arguing. It's just, well, I was not very much of a morning person, that's all. Not really an evening person either. Enjoy it when you get there. What if I get stage fright again? Hey. Make a show of myself? No, that's not going to happen. That's a one-off, that's all. You're going to be brilliant. Well, what would you know? You told me you was a tree in your school play. Never even spoke. Yeah, and that's why you have to practice, love. I don't want to be Miss Hannigan. She's a right cow. Faye? I wanted to be a little off and Annie. Well, what can I say? It's the hard, not life. Mm, very funny. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have been Annie. I'm the only one in that class that's actually been an orphan. Well, I was nearly an orphan. Anyway, I'd rather go and see my dad. Ah, right, so we finally get to the point. No, you've seen enough of him for this week. Oh, but... No, oh, but nothing, no! Hey, hey love. love. Hiya. All right, keep your hair on. Gary, is it? Do you want to see my new computer? Ooh. No, no, after you see. <laughs> It's Ace. Dad by me. I'm very kind of him. It was too. In fact, I thought you might like a game to pony. This is for kids. My dad just bought you a present that's not very nice. Sorry. My dad said he'd take me to the football tomorrow. But Mum said I couldn't go. Yeah, well, I'm sure she had good reason. It's not like I was going to do anything. I really wanted to go. I really like where the field is today. County. Them two. Well, hey, I'll get us all tickets and we can, we can go as a family, yeah? It sounds good. Yeah. I'll be up for it. No. Why not? Because you're not my real family. Tim is. Hey. And you can stick to your stupid game. Go and talk to her. No, don't. You'll only make her worse. You can't let her get away with that. She needs to calm down. My dad's trying his best here. He needs your support. He's got my support. Not enough of it. You let that girl treat him like dirt. Well? Oh, is he away all week? We could maybe, I don't know, go away as a family together at the weekend, like. Uh, it sounds nice, but... But what? Well, we don't have to compete with him. It's not about that, love. Isn't it? No, I just think we could do with a break. Talk to Roy, yeah? <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, cheers. Oh, I didn't see you there. Um, it's all right. How long has Fabian chatted to Tim on that for? Uh, yeah. 20 minutes. I know it's time to eat a party pooper. Hmm. Yeah. You need backup. Oh, come on, then. <laughs> well, I don't mind, but the costume makes me look vile and the colours are itchy. Right, come on. Time to get on with your own work. I'm talking to my dad. Yeah, I know, love, but you've been on for quite a while now, so come on. Yeah, it's time to get off me. I've got a little Oh, please. Stay five more minutes, please. No, Faye, come on. On work. Sorry, Tim. End the call. Come on. <sighs> Bye, Dad. Take care, love. Bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you th about the girl that plays Annie. She's so out of tune. Oh, stop it, Faye. I was talking to my dad. Homework. <sighs> Do you know what? Even when he's not here, he's still here. David, this is lovely. Your garments. Yeah, well, a little thespian, aren't you, love? <laughs> is that like lesbian? Um, no, darling. A lesbian is a girl. Well, she's a lady. She's more of a woman, really. Who? Mm -hmm. Dad, you're back. Hi, okay, princess. Did the job go okay? Yeah, tip top. Nice one. Keep up the good work. Yeah. 
Rock and roll, we better get going. I don't want to keep Mr. Packham waiting. Oh, I got your ticket Friday night. Hello, school play. You're looking at Miss Hennigan. She's one of the main parts. He'll be there, won't you, Tim? Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to make that. You are joking. Well, I'll see if I can rejig a few things, but it's not looking good. Anyway, best get cracking. Work hard, keep your head down, eh? He's not coming. Oh, wait, we don't know that for definite, sweetheart. Come on. I sold it. Come on now, please. Useless. Yeah, until you dropped a word of advice into his ear and turned him into super. Dad, nice work. For face sake, it's what she wanted. We don't give her what she wants, we give her what she needs. And right now, the last thing she needs is you polishing Tim's halo. <coughs> Talk about twisting things. But see, even your own grandson knows you're in the wrong. Shows it. I know, I'm going. Hey, sorry, sweetheart. Did he wake you? Were you two arguing again? Disagreeing. It's not the same thing. If you say so. Come on, up to bed. I'm serious. Don't go shell it out. Right, guys. I want to make sure I get back in time. Um, actually, I found out today that we're only allowed two tickets. Oh, right. Well, Tim will understand. But he's going to change his football now. I can't tell him he can't come. Well, you can have the other ticket. Oh, don't be daft. You're a mum. You can't miss out. I can't believe you can only have two tickets. I'm sorry. I did ask. No, that'll be fine. You can fill me in on it later, yeah? Tell me what's going on. Because I knew exactly a bit. Well, don't be, because you're going to be amazing. I know you will. And anyway, you'll have me and Tim there cheering you on. Um, are you sat together? Um, I think so, yeah. I'm going to have a look at the tickets. Do you think there'll be any ticket touts outside the school? Any what? It's somebody who buys a ticket and then they sell it on for more money. It's more popular than a West End musical, the school play of yours, you know. Hey. Is there a bit of good as a West End musical with our face star of the show? <laughs> I'm not the star. Polly Gillespie is. This singes there, don't you think? Two tickets per family. Oh, well, don't blame me. What do you think I should try anyway in case there are, what do you call them, returns? Nah, there won't be any. Sold out weeks ago. If you say so. Right, we'll come on, we'll see you tonight. See ya. Bye, love, and good luck. Oh, bless her. I think she's glad I can't go. Oh, don't be daft. Anyway, you're the ones that sorted it out with Tim. You know what, Owen? She'd love nothing more for you to be there. And Gary and Izzy. I'll see you later. Bye. Look, they're bound to get more tickets. Ken Powell's among the governors. Yeah, well, that's not fair, is it? Have a good mind to ring the school. Don't push it, eh, love? There'll be more shows. Yeah, oh, that, that's fantastic, mate. I owe you one. Owen deserves an apology. Sorry. He, he was really looking forward to the play and you've lied to us. Why would you do that? I just wanted you to see how nice my dad is. On our own. What, you mean like a date? Oh. Hannah and Tim? No, that's ridiculous. Well, that makes sense to me. I mean, you just found your real dad. And you love your mum. I mean, wouldn't it be a dream come true if they got together and the grumpy old builder rode off into the sunset? Ah, oh, Faye. I think you owe Owen an even bigger apology now. No. No, no, you don't. Look, I'm, I might not be the brightest button in the box, Faye, but I do understand. I'm her, though, you know. I love you, mum, and I love you too. Love, I just want to be part of your life. OK? The both of you. And I just hope that someday you might feel the same. You know nothing's ever going to happen with me and Tim. Go on, go on up to bed and have a think about what Owen said, eh? Oh, yeah, um, your mum said you were good in the school play, so well done for that, love. Thanks. She really likes you, you know. She's just mixed up, you know, with all this business with her dad. Yeah, I know. I like you and all. Oh, well, that's good to know. So, um, you mean you're not interested in this younger bloke the face trying to set you up with? <laughs> nah. I'm happy with the man I've got right here. Good. Uh-huh. What can I do for you? Can I have a word with you? Oh, is something wrong? No. Well, why are you looking so worried? Oh, I hope we are popular today. Excuse love. Yeah. 
Oh, I knew it work. I just knew it back. Hi, Katie. Hi, 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 Come on, in. Oh. What are you doing here? What? Well, I've just come to your banner out. What are you doing? I've got toothaches, so I'm going to go to the dentist. Oh, when did that start? Just this morning. Oh. I was going to ask you, can you look after Josie? Yeah, of course I can. I know you've got a lot on in that. No, no, it's fine. He needs changing. <laughs> oh, well, I'll do that. Come on, sweetheart. Come to oh. me. Yeah, I'll run, run you to the dentist, oh. love. Oh, no, it's all right. I'll get the bus. All right. Have fun. Hey, she's not pregnant again, is she? No. But it is about her. All right, I'll sit down then. Yeah. I'd like your permission to marry her, if it's all right with you. Well, I'm not sure about that, lad. Really? Yeah, I mean, uh, where do you see yourself in ten years' time? Can you provide for her? I've done all right so far. Yeah, but you might have had two kids by then. That's a whole different story. In that case, better if we are married. I should have more security. And another thing. What? Well, do I really want a daughter called Brown? I mean, it's not even my favourite colour. <laughs> uh, <you> Come <laughs> Lousy. Of course you can have my permission. I'd be delighted. Thank you. What's all this? Chesney's gonna marry Katie. Really? Yeah. Have you asked her? No, not yet. I was gonna ask her at the party. Oh, oh that's wonderful news. <sighs> Come here. Oh, you. Congratulations. Thanks, Anna. She's not said yes yet. Uh, well, I think that's one thing we don't need to worry about. Yes, to do. <laughs> <laughs> Like Eleven years old, and where is me? Oh, it's only a bit of fun for one day. Do you know, honestly, I mean, all friends have got it on. She has no idea. It's a kid's party. Get over it. Come in, Tim. It's Tim. Oh, hi, Tim. Hi, hi Dad. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. Oh, Mum, can I open it now? Yeah, go on, then. Oh, that's amazing. Have you seen what's got me, Mum? Yeah, that's lovely. Thanks, Tim. The other one's scuzzy next to this one. Um, anyway, there's a glass of wine in the kitchen if you want one. Is there? Oh, OK, cheers. Do with the drink after the day out, bud. I trust him to be flash. Yeah, nice to know the phone I bought's a scuzzy one. Where's Katie, Chess? Well, she texts. Said she was having a look around the shops, but that was a couple of hours ago. I don't know where she's got to. Happy birthday, dear Faye. Happy birthday to you. Hey, come on, let's go. I was going to send out a search party for you. Sorry, I lost track of time. Yeah, right, yeah. Get you up on the wheel. All right, cheers. Hey, can I get you both a drink? I'll have a glass of wine, please. Just uh, kind of whatever's going on. Right, if you were just giving me a lift, I'd come around in the back of the van. What were you doing? I was getting my bag. What is true? So nothing's going on? No. Then then why didn't you tell Chess about Ryan just now? If he was just giving you a lift, how come you don't want him to know about it? I don't care. All right, I'll tell him now then, shall I? When he gets back. Probably exactly. I bet you didn't even go to the dentist, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, come on, just a minute. Are you seeing Ryan behind Chess's back? Ah, oh, there you go. Cheers, man. Have you been? Thought you were going to Spain for the bubbly lad. Sorry, I got tied up with Tina. The flat got broken into. Oh my God! I've kicked the door in. Sure, right. It's terrible. Anything taken? Uh, bits and bobs, apart from her dad's wedding ring. Nothing major. Well, what about the police? Been and gone. Is the flat secure? Yeah, hundred percent. I've changed the locks myself. Good lad. How's Tina? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. I mean, she's putting on a brave face, but it's obvious she's cut up. Oh well, I'm not surprised. Poor love. We don't help her being on her own. Yeah, you've invited her to stay with me? Yeah, of course I have. Gary, can I ask you a favour? Yeah. Well, actually, I'm glad you're here, cos I can't see if you both wanted to come for tea tonight. It was Faye's idea. Oh, really? Sorry, mate, I'm, I'm not sure we can. Well, she's really keen, you know. She's written out the menus and everything. Has she? But I have to warn you, I'm not the greatest cook in the world. <laughs> well, maybe it's not such a good idea, then. Well, you know, if Faye wants us there... Oh, she does. Yeah, all right, then. Great. See you later. Why'd you do that? Look, I don't like him living across the road any more than you do, but we have to accept it. 
But if he's had enough pushing and pulling... Take it from me. Children need parents who get on. Otherwise, they're liable to turn out very oddly. This is really good. Yeah, not bad. It's better than when you made it. Remember, it was rubbish. Yeah, well, Katie and Izzy managed to survive, so I couldn't have been that rubbish, could I? No, oh, of course you weren't. Yeah. So, Tim, are you looking forward to the football match tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, following County ever since I was a kid. I had a trial for him when I was 14. Really? Yeah, never say never, the way their season's going, eh? United, I take it. He's got a framed photo of Alex Ferguson, but Mum won't let him put it up. <laughs> oh, because there isn't enough room for family photos, let alone football managers. Mm. I don't suppose you got any of this one when she was a little, have you? Mm. Why? Have you? Sorry, sweetie. Oh, yeah, I have. A bit dog-eared. But I suppose you want another slice of my rice pudding. It's not as bad as all that. <laughs> it's OK, love. I knew the game was up as soon as I went got his chisel out. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Fake, go get your mum's coat, will you, love? But it's early yet. I know. We're, we're tired and we want to get home, you know. Well, we're not tired, are we? I could stay here. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Why not? Well, because there's nowhere for you to sleep for a start. I could sleep on the floor. Your mum said no. It's all right, Owen. I'll only be across the road. I don't care where I sleep. No, your mum's right. You need somewhere proper to sleep. Go on. Go and get the coat, that's a good girl. But it's not fair. <laughs> right, well, thanks for dinner. Thank you. Um, maybe if I've got a futon or one of them beanbag beds. Then could I stay? I don't know. Right, we'll see. Come on, let's get going. Good night. Bye, Dad. Bye. Good night. She's reading. Yeah, I'm gonna go up as well. Hey, you don't have to. No, I know. Chesty came round. So, was she going on about the sleepover? Mm -hmm. Listen, I thought you handled it brilliantly, by the way. Sidestepped it, you mean? Yeah, but you can work it out. Will I? Of course you can. God, I'd be so calm if I was in your shoes. Probably want to kill the guy. Do you think I don't? All you want for your kids is for him to be happy, right? Healthy and happy. Mm. And I know having a dad in a life is going to make Faye happy, but, you know, he... I just wish, and I hate myself for saying this, but I just wish that he'd forgotten all about her. And he thinks he can just move in over the road and start buying her futons and... I know she's his blood, Owen, but I can't lose her. I can't let him take her away from me. Listen to me. Faye is your child, OK? Yours. You don't owe him anything, and you certainly don't owe him a daughter. And you should do this every morning so I can start the day off calm. Yeah, for five minutes till Faye comes down. God, you are so tense, love. This muscle like a breeze, but you need a jackhammer to relax it. Mm, not as tough as that rice pot Tim dished up, is it? You needed a jackhammer for that. It's not like you to joke about it all. Yeah, well, maybe that's where I've been going wrong. I've got to try and cope better with all this. You handled it brilliantly. Tim's moved into a flat on the street. Do I like it? No. But, you know, I've just got to cope with it. I've got to stay upbeat and positive. And where is she anyway? I shouted her ages ago. Hey, sweetness, your breakfast is ready. See? Like that. Very good. This is the new look, Titania Manor. You know, all that chat, it just bounces off me. Look, boing, boing. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. You said Titanium Anna, stay positive and upbeat. <sighs> come on, love, eat up. I'm not hungry. Oh, come on, Faye. I feel sick. Hey, look, you can't go to school on an empty tummy. What about if I make you some toast? How come you didn't let me stay at my dad's? Because there isn't even a spare bed there. I'm going to be sick. Anyway, what we do is don't have She hasn't even got a temperature. Is she trying it on? Well, possibly, but she normally likes going to school. I don't want to force her to go in if she doesn't feel well. We'll keep it off, then. We'll see how it pans out, yeah? Oh, I've got to go to work. Roy's got a meeting with his accountant. Well, can't he shift it? Well, no, because he's got... 
He's worried that he's missed this deadline for a farm he's meant to be filling and he thinks they're going to stick him in the tower. Where's Katie? Um, she's out all day. <sighs> I'd love to help, but I've got Stella on my back, you know. It's all right, you get going. Mm. Give us a ring later, all right? I will do. You're eating me! Do as I say, stop I'm arguing with, with me! Oh! Is everything all right? Yeah, it's fine, thanks, Norris. Mum! Just get in the house now! Mum! Shut up and get in the house. Please, I need you to calm down right now! Oh, no, don't, don't you dare put that television on. Babe, please, I need you to talk to me. He's my dad. I love him. I know you do. He tells me things that no-one else can tell me. Stuff about my mum, about me. I'm your mum. Oh, get off! I hate you! No! No! No, don't you dare! I will not let you destroy this family. Now get to your room! I hate you as well! Hiya. I got your message. I, I was, I was involved in a plot. What happened? I had to drag her kicking and screaming from Tim's. Everybody was looking, and then we got back here, and she just flipped out. Do you want me to have a word with her? No. There's been enough shouting and screaming for one day. Yeah, come here, Bob. Let me, let me do it. Come here. Come on. Anyway, I've decided. I'm banning them from seeing each other. Banning. Mm -hmm. Well, as, as in, not allowed to see him at all? I'm bad enough from seeing him. I'm bad enough from speaking to him. Well, look, love, that is music to my ears, but are you sure? Oh, I've never been more sure of anything before in my life. Go here. Do you fancy a bacon sani, love? Yeah, go on then, thanks. Katie, darling? Mm. Yes, please. Hey? I don't want anything from you. Right, well, there's food here when you want it now. Go upstairs, brush your teeth and put your uniform on, please. I'm not going to school. <laughs> yeah, you are going to school because I'm going to take you and I'll be there at quarter to four to pick you up. And in fact, from now on, you're going nowhere outside this house unless I'm with you. Do you understand me? Can't make me. Uh, oh, yes, I can. Listen to me, love. I know you're angry, but trust me, you're not going to win this fight. Faye, how about I take you? You're on her side. No, we're all on your side. She's not. Do you know what? You might not like me very much right now, but even after everything that happened last night, you know, I still love you more than anything. Well, that just proves how stupid you are, cos I still hate you. You go into school. I'll go with Katie. OK. Just give her time, yeah, she doesn't mean it. Mm -hmm. I'll do her a pet lunch. Katie, will you say you made it, otherwise she won't touch it? Yeah. So rubbish, no bills? Well, I hope so, yeah. This is with social services sorting it now. Um, she's got the uh, pyjamas, the wash bag, and um, she's got some clean clothes for school. How long will this take? So long as she's got clothes for tomorrow. We can always come back. Well, um, will you tell her I love her? Of course I will. Yeah, we both do. This is her home. Should go, yeah? Sorry. You know, Faye must be so scared about going to the police station. Well, Izzy's going with her. She'll, uh, she'll look after her, love. Listen to me. You've got nothing to worry about, okay? No one is gonna believe her. And what if you're wrong? Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. I made a right fill on myself. Ah, give her. I doubt anyone even noticed. Ha ha, very funny. Well, I'll take the afternoon off work, yeah? Keep you company. Oh, don't be daft anyway. Katie's here. <sighs> afternoon. Where's Faye? Oh, she's still at the police station with Miss Armstrong, I'm afraid. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just routine. What do you mean, there's nothing to worry about, just routine? Just... Sorry, can you just cut to the chase, please? 
Your daughter has dropped all allegations. Oh. She's admitted to making the whole story up. I knew she would go through with it, love. And what about the police? Oh, there won't be any action taken. Your mum's in the clear. She always was. Listen, maybe we should leave them to it, eh? Yeah, go on, you're going back to work. That'd be OK. Yeah, listen to him, Dad. All right, well, call me if you need anything, all right? Oh. Katie, can you, um, can you give us a minute, please, darling? Yeah, sure. We have a family sit down or what? I don't know. I can have a word. <sighs> oh no, leave her be. I thought you'd be happier than this. Why on earth would you think that? Because you admitted lying. And that makes everything okay. No, of course not. The fact that she felt she even needed to lie in the first place breaks me out. I know you want me to be strong and keep fighting, but I'm not sure that's the answer anymore. I don't follow. I can't win, Owen. So what are you saying? I'm saying I think that they should live with her dad. They just need some time to get out of her system, that's all. Listen to yourself, Anna, this is crazy. There has got to be another answer. Such as? Come on, I'm all ears. Because I can't see another way, Owen. Yeah, because you're running scared. You're too right, I am. I've banned her from seeing her dad and Faye's reported me to the police. God knows what she'll do next. Look, she's back down once, so she'll back down again. You can't guarantee that, can you? She needs you. Listen to me, she needs you to say no to her. Understand? She needs it. Right here, right now, is where you earn your corners of mother. Remember what you went through to adopt her. Remember all the heartache. Yeah? Well, it'll be all for nothing if you give in to her now. Not a bad time, is it? No, I was just kidding. Where the heck did you go? I was getting worried. What's he doing here? Hi, Dad. Hi, love. Mum never hit me. She'd never hit me. I know, darling. Anna's explaining it. What's he doing here, Anna? Please well, stay out with this, Owen. Fair you. I'm going to ask you a question, and you can't lie. You have to answer truthfully from your heart, OK? OK. Do you want to stay with your dad? For real? For real. But it's only temporary, of course, but... Yes or no? Yeah. OK, you can go now. I'll bring her over in a bit. Right, yeah. OK, well, you're back upstairs and start packing. Look! Take it for love. I keep expecting Faye to strap down them stairs, complaining about something or other. No, right, shut up, <laughs> Hannah. I'm like a broken record. Tea will be ready soon, love. Yeah, I don't want any. Your dad said you'd fallen out with Chesney again. It's gone beyond that. It's over for good this time. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Right, I've checked on Jules if he's spark out, so I'll see you later. Uh, hang on, love. Where do you think you're going? Out. I'm sick of being bored and I'm sick of all this aggro, so I think it's about time I enjoy myself. So there's this woman, right? Hey, little man. Hey, how you doing? I wonder where everyone was. I was around to yours looking for Katie, but no one's answering. Well, you better keep looking because she's not here. Where is she? Well, that's what we'd like to know. I don't understand. Well, I got a text from her last night saying she was staying over at a mate's, and Muggins here was left over in the baby, literally. I haven't heard from her since. Have you tried ringing her? Of course I have. Listen, Chess, she's probably just sleeping it off. You know, there's no sense worrying about a love. Uh, well, I'm going to try and call her, just in case. There you go. Rusky, you Oh, you're back. Have a good night, did you? Don't start. I just have to put up a chair. I'm going to go up me in the street. I don't blame him. He was worried sick, so was I. Go Where on. Where were you? Your dad had to take the morning off work to look after Joseph. Where have you been? I told you I was staying at friends. So what were you around about this time? I thought the flowers and that was his way of trying to make it up to you. Oh, does it matter? Yes, it does when I'm picking up the pieces. What was it this time? Right, we had a route because I stayed at Ryan's last night and Chess saw me leaving this morning. You know, I don't believe you. 
One minute's Chesney, the next minute's Ryan. I'm surprised you don't get the names mixed up. Oh, wait, no, no, come here, darling. No, I'm sick of this. In case you'd forgotten, Chesney's that little lad's father, and he deserves more than you messing him around. Thanks for the support. It means a lot. Well, what do you expect? Look, for your information, I tried to make things work, and he didn't want to know, so it's not all my fault. I know. I know it's not all your fault, love. But you have to make a decision whether you want to be with him or not, and tell him. I have. All right. <sighs> but I'm a lucky man. Come on, now, eh? Look, I know you're under the gun, but so am I. It's getting beyond a joke now. Gary, I can't give you where I haven't got, OK? So long as Stella's insurance company continue to mess her around, my hands are tied. Right. What can I get my two favourite men? What you got for under a pound? Just give him what he wants. No, 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 I don't want your charity. I can't win. What's going on? Do you want to tell her or shall I? Tell me what? I'm having a cash flow problem. He means Stella hasn't coughed up. Is that true? Honestly, it's a blip. All right, it's par for the course with this kind of job. No, it's out of order is what it is. Look, well, babe, I need to get this cool. Give us some specials, will you? Honestly, that woman's got a flipping nerve. Tell me about it, I'm skint. Have you still not replaced the 200 pound you spent on Tina? Mum, don't start about the ring. You need to come clean, what Gary. What is he doesn't know won't harm her, so will you please just drop it? Oh, well, fine, fair enough. Well, it blows up in your face, don't say you weren't born. Oh, born. thanks, Mum, thanks, you. you're all heart. Yeah, but well, it's better than being hot up and no trousers, Gary. <sighs> Everything all right? Yeah, nothing I can't handle. There's all the lot. Where will have to find it, then? I'm holding my breath. Hey, come on, Owen. It's not like you to be such a defeatist. Anna, I'm being realistic. If you could have raised the cash, you'd have raised it already. Face it, love. I've been taken for a ride. Oh, love, are you sure you've not got anything else tucked away? You know, like an emergency emergency phone. What do you think I've been using for the last few weeks? <sighs> How did Gary take it? <laughs> How do you think? And Tina, does she know yet? Hmm. What did she say? Well, nothing, you know. Tina's Tina. She's a good girl. She knows I'll pay her eventually. Yeah, but what if you can't? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, last thing you need is me panicking. This is crazy. I'm not having it. Where are you going? Rovers. If Stella thinks I'm just going to roll over where she can think again. I've been one of them. It's not to shell out more for labour and materials, just to get the job finished, and there's still no guarantee I'll see a penny of it. It's a non-starter, I've told you. Yeah, what do I do? I can't write off the debt. I mean, this job has cost me thousands already. No, it's cost her thousands, and she'll have to pay a bill like anybody else. Yeah, but look, she says she can't, which is why she's offered me a share of the pub. Do you know what bugs me? I've turned work down for this job, and there's nothing out there now. And she should be at school, never mind coming in here for toast. What do you expect? He's hopeless. Well, they could at least make sure she has a decent breakfast. Well, she is being favoured for this period. Just tell Stella to pay up. I have. She can't. So get the jobs on hold still. What is you hear the latest? All right, Max, come and put your coat on. Yeah, Oh, no. What's going on? Uh, Carl and Stella's engagement do. No expense spared, I see. <laughs> I just have to extend my overdraft from there, cracking open the champagne. Nice prosecco. Mm. What do you want to drink, love? A half. I'm counting your pennies. <laughs> like some people. <laughs> so what do you think? What shall I give this? Uh... Yeah, well that's another thing because I think they've got a problem in that department. All of them. If I owe someone some money, okay, I do not go flaunting it about, especially not in front of them. White flag. Look, I've come to say we're sorry. It was only meant to be a few quiet drinks, but my mum stuck some money behind the bar. He's laid people off. People with rents to pay and mouths to feed the thoughtless cow. What? Hey! I'd rather you didn't talk about my mother like that. What are we supposed to live on, eh? I turned down three roofing jobs for you, a garage conversion and a kitchen. They've all been taken now. There is nothing out there in you. Don't ever come asking for a job again. <laughs> Don't worry, mate, it won't. We're all in the same boat. Are we? Not from where I'm sitting, we're not. I wasn't joking. You have to put your celebrations on ice because I am suing you. Are you serious? You will hear from my solicitor. Unbelievable. Well, what did you expect us to do? Laugh it off. I am trying my best here. I have offered you half my livelihood. Don't make me beg. I'm not. Which is why we're leaving it to the experts. Great. Thanks. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, hello. How do? What's going on here? Uh, nothing. Faye's just been having a tea, that's all. And her dad came with her, did he? What, did you want to see how it was done? No. Tim came to find out where she was, which he's got every right to do. Well, I'm, I'm sure he had. 
Well, we're just getting off now anyway, won't we, love? Come on. But you said I could have that apple pie. Well, I did, yeah. There you go, darling. Thanks. Can you just listen to me, please? Right, Faye's here because I've invited her, just like I've invited Tim to sit and wait till she's finished. Do you now tell me that I shouldn't have done that? No, 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 of course I'm not. No. Faye's welcome any time. Nice to see you, Faye. Right, I'll just, uh, I'll just have a wash and get changed in, shall I? He just doesn't like surprises. Hey, you, how's me apple pie? <laughs> Come in. Of course I have. Well, say it again, it won't hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. Listen, sweetie, you don't have to thank me. You know, you're welcome here any time. I'm doing a bit of ironing tomorrow, so I'll bring the things over then. What, we're taking in washing now, are we? No, it's just a few bits of haze. Oh, yeah? OK, what else? You've got to go around and do his cleaning for him. Come on, it's time we're getting you up. Thanks for feeding her. That's OK. Why don't you just admit you're not up to me, eh? I mean, part-time dad, yeah, you can do that all right. Man. Just ignore him. But when it comes to 24-7, that... Nah, yeah, you're relying on Anna here to help you out, which she will, of course, because she's so kind-hearted. But you know what? I'm not. And I'm telling you now, you're not up to it, and you're not fooling anybody. Yeah, go on. Run away, then. <laughs> There's no need for that. There was every need, Anna. That man is playing at being dad. Playing at it. And all this that you're doing is helping him. So what am I supposed to do? Turn her away? For now, yeah. Well, I can't, Owen. Sorry, but I can't. But if you really, really see... Oh, your mum makes the best lemon meringue pie. I should know I had two slices. Oh, hello. You're back early. All over with lover boy, is it? You wish. It's not in mood. Oh, really? Well, are you in a mood to make up with Chesney? Do you remember him, father of your child? Dad, give her a break. You see, love, you can't run your life based on what kind of mood you're in. Well, what do you expect? Hmm? When everyone thinks they can have a go at me. Ah, here we go. Blaming other people. Yeah, that is really easy. But you know what? You have to work at a relationship. Look at Gary and Izzy. I mean, they had problems, but they worked them out, didn't they? Well, give them a medal. Perfect couple. It's not that easy for the rest of us, Dad. Mm. Do you have to keep going on at her? What do you want me to do? Invite Ryan round for tea? I don't approve and she should know that. I think she knows. Uh, sorry, sorry, am I the only one here? Do you think she should have done Chesney for Ryan? I think she's old enough to make her own mistakes. Yeah, one after another. What about you, love? You... I agree with you, but you can't keep banging on about it, all right? It's not going to make a change of mind. Gary. What? You know what it's like to make a commitment to another person. I mean, a real commitment. I reckon it's probably a lot more complicated than you think. I just came. I thought you might have to see it from the school. Oh. What time did it get here? There you are. Oh, no, you're joking. <sighs> what does it say? What's she done now? She hasn't done anything. Oh. A school trip's not been paid for. Which school trip? She's meant to be going on Friday. It's adventure week. I'll get me back and write him a cheque. No, you'll do no such thing. A was skins and B, Faye is Tim's responsibility. And if he can't be bothered to pay, love, that. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Come on, love. Me? Never better. You got any cut breakfast going, Anna? Yeah, if you're paying for it. No, I'll pay. I can pay. Oh, well, I shouldn't rush back and I can't be the butters. It's calm beef again. Uh, I tell you, if I eat much more of that, I'll be demanding the Falklands back. Still, needs must. I don't suppose... Katie, not back yet. Tell you what, when I see her... I know, well, it's Faye that I'm worried about. You know that school trip she's got a heart set on? Yeah. Well, Tim couldn't afford to pay for it. Honestly, she's dead disappointed. Great. With a bit of luck, she might realise which side her bread's buttered. I know, but she's asked me for the money, and I feel rotten saying no. I'd really like to pay for it. No, no, no. If we prop that bloke up, we'll never get Faye back. It's time you realise what being a parent is. And when he does, he'll run a flaming mind. Hiya. Hiya. How come you've got Josie? making a show of yourselves in front of everybody. What's going on? And this little lad, what type of example do you think you're setting him, eh? He wasn't us who started it. Chesney's coming out the house and he saw the two of them. Yeah, and then went off on one again. He was upset. <sighs> He's accused her of neglecting Joseph. Which is rubbish. And nobody asked you. No, thanks, Ryan. It's nice to see someone standing up for me. When you're in the right, I'll stick up for you. Yeah, yeah all right, everybody just calm down. He's upset and he, he, he's threatened to batter him. <laughs> what a joke. Think it's funny, do you? Um, don't blame Ryan. 
Chez was the one trying to bait him, not the other way round. Yeah, but by the way he's seeing it, he's looking after Joseph while you two are off. Well, he wasn't supposed to be, was he? I left Joseph with you, Anna, not Chesney. You shouldn't have let him take him. He's his dad! And anyway, don't you reckon you got a cheek standing there telling Anna what she should and shouldn't be doing? She was doing you a favour. Joseph is your responsibility. All right, Owen. No, it's fine. I'll we'll say yours tonight, can't we? Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They come as a package. You do realise that, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's fine. Good. I'll go and get my things then. Oh, uh, no, Katie, don't be daft. You know I love having him. No, it's all right. I wouldn't want anyone to think I was shirking my responsibilities. We don't. Keep an eye on him, won't you? the easy bit. Having to get up three times in a night is when the going gets tough. That's fine. Right, come on, let's go. Oh, no, look, just wait. Can't you just apologise? Apologise? For what? He's never in the wrong, you should know that. Please, Owen. Anna, I'd save your breath. No, Katie, wait. <sighs> Sorry, is this a bad time? Yeah. No. Oh, come on in. Hey, look at you, looking all pleased with yourself. Dad paid for me to go on the school trip. Really? That's great. Come into some money, have you, mate? Yeah, I have. Just came to get our wellies. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you better get a waterproof as well. It's going to be so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's mm. going to be great. Right, we'll take care and have a good time, yeah? Here we go. Thanks for the wellies. You know, it's a wonder he doesn't wander around on a white charger. Yeah, well, she's happy. That's the main thing. It doesn't matter who's responsible, does it? Well, it does as it happens, love. Because the more she thinks he's some kind of flaming hero, the more likely she is to want to stay there. Please tell me you didn't give him the money. Oh, what? Oh, well, I couldn't just stand by, could her and no, see her unhappy. we agreed that if he was left to his own devices, Faye would see what effect... You do want her back, don't you? I also want her back. Yeah, well, you've got a funny way of showing it, love. Where are you going? Oh, I mean, don't be angry. I'm not. I'm not, love. I just... i got some stuff to do with the yard. Owen. What are you going to get for me? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I could say the same to you. Except I can see for myself. Get out. No, I asked you... You! I will deal with later. Did you not hear what I said? Is it, she's done nothing wrong. I told you to get out. And I won't warn you again. Are you mental or what? What do you think you're doing? You've got no right! I bear me right where you're concerned! No, you don't! I am not your baby anymore, and you're not the boss of me, so I've moved back yeah, in here! I've got news for you, love. Yes, I am. <laughs> when you're using this place to carry on with him! Well, it's always the same with you, innit? You think you can start kicking off and acting the bullet. I'll do as I'm told, but no, I won't! I'm warning you. Don't let me catch you stepping one foot inside this house again. Or what? Dad! Oi! Well, it's all right. No, it is not all right. You want to push someone around, make sure it's not my lad. Well, you better keep him away from her, then. Oh, I think you'll find, Owen, it's a free country, and I don't hear Katie complaining, do you? Come on, Ryan. Come on! That boy certainly knows how to wear his skin. Oh, sorry, I just met... Over there, you are a bit. But in a good way. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, Harry, could you get me dad's beer, please? Glad we're all right, yeah? Yeah, great. Uh, do you need a hand with the food? All taken care of. It's just us and Katie, then, is it? And Ryan. Ryan? You know Ryan goes out with your daughter. In that case, I'm not stopping. Sorry, love. Oh, no, come on. Come on, I know it was a bit naughty what he did, but... I mean it. I'm off. Dad, look at me. Look. Now, listen. You are staying. You're going to behave yourself. Understand? Anyway, he won't have the gall to show his face. Just try for my sake, please. That'll be them now. Don't go, Owen. Don't go, please. Let's just stay in. Hey, hey guys. Thanks for inviting us. Hello again. Do you want to get the courts, Gary? Yeah. Thank you. Evening. Go on, right? Yeah. Listen, I'm just, I'm just going to go nip to the loo. Well, that was good. Yeah, well done, Owen. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a warm welcome. And that was him welcoming you with open arms. Was it? <laughs> yeah, major leap far with that. Oh, Gary, do you want to pass by on the nibbles? <sighs> nibbles? She means a bowl of crisps. And the dip. <laughs> Don't forget the dip. Dip? No, thanks. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. 
you sure? Are you sure? It's a big round. I can afford it. See, there is no problem that can't be solved with one of my curries. Yeah, but well. You owe me a massive apology. <laughs> That went well, don't you? Yeah, Dad's still an idiot, but, yeah. <laughs> so you can't wait to get out of there. No, I couldn't. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get off. OK. Thanks for loving me, though. Oh, you're welcome. See you later. See ya, see ya. So, what do we all think of Ryan, then? Oh, I don't like him, but it's her choice, isn't it? Listen, I've just got to pop outside as well. Why? I've got to make a call. My signal's bad. Ah, come on, get him in and went. Oh. Hey, you're not in the bed, are you? Oh, Dad, that's love. <laughs> yeah, for me and your mum. If you want one, you can make it yourself. What time did you get back from the hospital? I don't know. I've gone midnight. I kept thinking that Izzy might change her mind and let me see the baby, but she wasn't having any of it. Well, maybe she's got something to do with the fact that you were trying it on with Tina. Yeah, oh, come on. How many times have I got to say I'm sorry, all right? No. No, Gary, it's not all right. Oh, what? Going on about it's not going to help, is it? I'm not trying to help, love. <sighs> I'm, uh Letting off steam in case I do something I'm going to regret. I'm going for a shower. Is that all right? There's some clean towels in the airing cupboard. That's her bacon butty. I mean, everything is just one big mess. You know, Gary and Izzy could still sort things out. No, love. If you'd have been at the hospital, you wouldn't say that. She's not going to take him back, not now. Uh, not ever. Well, what about the baby? Well, I'm just starting to wonder if it isn't the worst thing that could have happened to them. And do you know what? I pushed him into it. No, listen, you... No. You was only trying to help. Yeah, look at the mess it's got us in, eh? They split up. Izzy's in bits. And now she's starting to think about bringing up the baby on her own. She can't do that. be too much for her. Well, the way things are going, love... She may not have the chance. What do you mean? Oh, Anna. Anna, love, he's so tiny, you know. And when you see him... <laughs> ...lying there in the incubator... ...you know, with the, with the tubes coming out of him... <laughs> ...I swear she could hold him in one hand, love. <laughs> you, you can't think like that. He's going to be all right. Yeah, but what if he isn't, I? Well, then. Don't Don't for the first time. Oh, it was great, yeah. Except what Tommy neglected to tell us was it was going to be the last. Sorry? Oh, yeah. Your little friend's played a blinder, Rita. Wants to keep our grandchild for herself. Yeah, well, not that she's going to be able to do, because we'll take her to court if we have to. She told you that? Yeah. She won't hand him over. Oh, no. I thought she'd got through this. Sorry, what, you knew? Well, I put it down to her hormones. And you didn't say anything? Well, like I say, I didn't think anything had come of it. Yeah, well, it has, all right? And she's even banned us from seeing him. That's not like Tina. Oh, no, cos Tina's perfect, isn't she? Doing us a massive favour, acting like we're mates, doing it all from the art. <laughs> it was me feeling grateful. Bowing and scraping, treading on eggshells, even when she tried to pinch me boyfriend. Cos, oh, no, we don't upset Tina, do we? Not when she's carrying our child. Easy, babe, come on. And now she dares tell me, just cos I didn't carry him, I ain't his mother. All right, please. Izzy, don't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah? Well, if you're really sorry, you'll get her to see sense, cos I swear to God, if she goes through with this, I'm not going to be held responsible for my actions. Stay and have your tea, eh? There's no point in going home and cooking them stuff. Yeah, thanks, mate. It isn't right, you know. She just can't ban us from even seeing him. She can. I feel like storming in there and taking him. You know what? After all that we've done for her, you know, we've took her in, we've treated her like one of the family, and this is how she repays us. If she wanted to have a baby, she should have gone and had one of her own. I need to get out of here. She's an hard faced coward. I feel like slapping her. Right, we're going for a walk. Hey? Oh, oh well, well, don't be long, because I'm just going to do this for you. Yeah, don't worry, we'll come back. See you in a bit. In a bit. I'm sorry, I don't want another slanging match. Look, I understand that you're upset. You understand nothing. You think you can smile and bat your eyelashes and we'll all cave in? We gave you everything. Money, or home, a ready-made family. She's already got a family. No, she's making one with our son. Come on, mate, don't be a mug. 
You've been used. Someone to pay the bills, someone to share the feeds, someone to make her look settled in court. She's using you. And as soon as she gets what she wants, she'll dump you just like she dumped us. This. The family who cared that much at the kicking wrong gardens and out. Yeah, OK. OK, don't wait. We'll bring the rest round. Rita's, is it? She had a mitts on your checkbook yet, Rita? She's welcome to. Come on, Tina. You're better than this. Let's get going. Yeah, with my grandson, you can try, but you won't get very far. You know what? Cos I'll fight you with every breath I've got. Do you know what? Oi! You've said that you've saved him from a broken home. Have a little look round, darling. All you've done is make us stronger. If you think I'm gonna let that money go, Tina... Oh, please. No, I don't want any arguments in here, thank you very much. You know, you're the one who got me in this fix. We went it back, sue me. <laughs> you don't know what's gonna hit you, madam. All right, careful, Owen. Another one. Don't let anybody take the baby off you, all right? You gave birth to him and you carried him. If anybody comes between you... What's it to you, sunshine? Then again, depends whose it is. Man, you're going to pronounce on that. I mean, you're the expert all of a sudden. Well, what'll this cage? Yeah. Hi, love. What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering if, um... you let me and Ryan have to build his yard flat. Oh. Well, what's wrong with Steve and Michelle's? Oh, it's a bit cramped. It's five of us. You mean you've overstayed your welcome? Kind of, yeah. Mm, that didn't say wrong. So can we? Yeah, no problem. Really? Yeah, 100 quid a week plus utilities. Well, we can't afford that. OK, well, how much can you afford? Well, I was hoping you'd let us have it rent free. <laughs> OK, well, let me get this right. So, you ignore my advice, you storm off because you know better, and then when things don't go according to plan, you come strolling back in here asking for the freebie. You let Tina do it. Yeah, well, that was different, and you know it. Yeah, your dad's had a lot to pay out just lately. I know, but... Yeah. Thousands to create a grandson and thousands more needed to get him back. Plus, I'm owed money on this place. Why not come back and live with us? No way I'm having that waste from my property. You know what, love? Even if he could afford the rent, I wouldn't want him living in the flat, OK? So the answer is no. some sense into you. Where is she? Or oh, if you mean Tina, it's sorted. I've spoken to the lawyers. There's, um, there's no need. She's given him back to us. What? Tina's let us have Jake. And she means it. Hang on, are you sure she's not just pulling some legal trick here? I'm sure. Oh, th I don't trust her. Mum, you weren't there. Honestly, it broke her up. But why would she do a complete U-turn? It doesn't make sense. Makes sense to me. Anyway, he's here with us now. And that's all that matters. Give it a month, I reckon he can come home with us. I can't believe this. <laughs> come here then, Grandad. Come <laughs> <laughs> And again, I'm telling you now. She won't have. She wouldn't do that to us. Yeah, are you sure about that? It was agonising for her to end him over, you know that. I'm only overprotective because I can't bear to see the pair of you yeah, suffering. we know. We know, but you can afford to relax now. The sooner we make it legal, the better, then we can all relax. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. You need to get your name down on that birth certificate. Get it down in black and white. Hello. Yeah. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Better late than never. Sorry. We're all on pins here, aren't we? Will she show up, won't she? Yeah, well, she's here now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I've checked. They can usually fit you in on the day, so... Well, you may as well crack on then, eh? Get it done today. Are you OK with that, yeah? Yeah. Well, you two go. I want to go to the hospital. It's exciting, isn't it, eh? Today's day, you officially become Jake's dad, Gary. Yeah, and you get your first grandchild. We are really grateful you know that, don't you? I mean, I... I know it's been a little bit of a rocky path, but we got there in the end, didn't we? Yeah. You will let me know how he's doing? Of course we will. We know how much he means to you. OK. Right, well, um, I best get going. OK. See you, Tina. See ya. See ya. Oh, sounds like something out of bank post. Long <laughs> sausage sandwich and white bread with brown sauce. I asked for a pasty, Roy. Uh, oh, oh I'm, I'm so sorry. He's not quite himself today. My apologies. Ah! One pasty. Thank you. Oh, I'm seeing little Jay later. Uh, oh, yeah, let me show you while I remember. Look, look, look. Oh! 
Oh, isn't he precious? Yeah. Oh, mind you, Gary and Izzy are going to have to kiss goodbye to sleep in the night through. Mm, well, I'd rather a newborn baby than a stroppy teenager. Any day of the week. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Yeah. What on earth is that? It's what I was checking on this morning. I must admit, when they said one-day delivery, I was sceptical. I said, what is it? Not how quickly did you get it delivered. A CCTV system. What do you want one of them for? For the cafe. Soon find out who's been breaking in here at night. Oh, Emily! <laughs> Jake. We, sorry, Jake. Yeah, <laughs> and we've got to get used to calling him by his name now. Well, I don't suppose he might. Once he is home, will you be stopping work, love? Well, of course I will. What do you think I'm going to do? Take him with me? Oh, ah, Carla would love that. She could start a crash. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see her doing that? Carla surrounded by babies. Uh, no. I think you'll be the sole breadwinner, lad. Yeah, might have to uh, ask you for a pay rise. Well, you can ask. No, oh, just call him Grandad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I won't be too sure about that. Hey, you never know. I might, might catch him in a good mood. You don't have any many of them, do you? Well, not if it's like you know everyone taking the mickey out of me now. <laughs> you okay. Yes. Why wouldn't it be? You know, you've been on your feet all day. Oh, don't lie. It's because they're celebrating. Listen, if I weren't working, I'd be celebrating with them. So how is Emily tonight? I've just been asking that. Oh, well, shut up, then. No, you're not. Go on the line, let's see. So, A, he's not paying his rent, and B, he's getting Faye to lie to his landlord. I mean, the man's pathetic, love. But he was there in the flat. What do you mean he was there? I've just told you. No, you told me that Faye told Dev he wasn't. Yeah, because... because Dev didn't believe her. Why not? Well, it's pretty obvious he doesn't want to face Dev. Oh... I think we should go round. We should definitely not go round, cos if we go storming round, you're going to annoy Tim and you're going to upset Faye, and that won't do you any favours at all. Well, Mum was banging on earlier. Who are you? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Um, just something I wanted to ask you. Yeah, I was telling you about the tenant, you know, the one that doesn't pay his rent. <laughs> when you went round tonight, did you actually see him? Actually see him? No. No, to do that, I need eyes that went round corners and upstairs. Then how did you know we were there? Well, you're not going to leave a little kid there on his own, is he? No, not that time of night. No, trust me, he was there. Did Faye say he was there? No, Faye said he was out. Because he told her to, love. And I guarantee you, the man was at the top of the stairs and he was listening to every single word. With him. Oh, yeah, and what would you have said? That wouldn't have sounded like you were trying to interfere. Well, it is a bit late for us to be up. Oh, it's Friday, Saturday, tomorrow. OK, OK, all right, we'll leave it for now. Good, so can we go back to my seats now, please? Yes. Good, there you go, there's your wine. Thank you.